Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a film review. It's a film that has recently been released in the cinemas. Uh, I went the other day to go and watch it, and uh, as usual, I thought I'd do a review of that. Now, the film in question is uh, The Avengers Age of Ultron. That's the number two uh, Avengers film. Now, pretty much everyone's back uh, that I can remember from the first one uh, into the second one. You've got people like RDJ as Iron Man. Uh, Chris Evans is Captain America, you've got Chris Hemsworth as Thor, Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk, uh, you've also got Scully Hansen as Black Widow, Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye, so pretty much the main cast is back, um, Kobe Smulders is back as Agent Hill, uh, she makes a bit of a cameo, uh, you've got Nick Fury as well, played by the legend Samuel L. Jackson, um, so pretty much the whole cast of the event is back which is cool you know you didn't want it that somebody was missing or anything like that is it everything that's happened in the past you know it follows on which is cool it's not like it's a you know New York never happened or Iron Man 3 never happened or Thor never happened things like that because at one point there's even a bit of a joke between uh, RDJ as to where Pepper Potts is and to where Natalie Portman's character is with uh, Thor and they have a bit of banter, which is cool, you know, about their female lovers and all that. Just the story is that Age of Ultron is about Ultron. So he's the main bad guy. Ultron is meant to be a protective unit of uh, robots that um, Iron Man has created. He's created these robots to go around the world uh, to try and protect and help humanity. Which is a good idea because the Avengers can't be in the whole world all at once. The bad thing is that you notice in the first hour of the film that uh, this bad energy from Loki's scepter is the thing of Ultron. So it's the power almost, it's the voice. Um, and this is what starts Ultron off. It's what um, turns him into a bad character. He becomes self-aware as though he's just a voice. Uh, and he doesn't like it, he wants to become human almost, he wants to become a reality rather than a, a ball of blue energy talking. The only person who can speak to him really at the time is Jarvis, which is Tony Stark's personal computer as it were. So one night they're having a party after uh, kicking ass in a made up Russian uh, country. So they're all at uh, Avengers Tower having a bit of a party when Ultron decides to uh, break up the celebrations. The Avengers pretty much you know, destroy what little action they have uh, without proper suiting up. So it's, you know, they're all in civilian wear and uh, they manage to defeat Ultron's little, uh, little army, little test. However, Ultron is now in the internet, so it can travel. He, he picks up stuff just like that. Uh, any information about a character, he can pick them up and just carry on, which is pretty cool, um, you know. You are the power, you are the internet, you can do whatever you want. I don't want to spoil it too much really. Um, there are several different Ultrons uh, throughout the film. And what he wants to do is create himself uh, out of vibranium. Vibranium is the metal element that is made up, uh, found in southern Africa. It is few and far between and what it did was make uh, Captain America's shield back in uh, the 1940s. Uh, for his original shield. Ultron wants to make himself out of it. Pretty good. Can't really destroy something that's indestructible. Yeah, without giving too much away, I don't want to talk about it and be like, oh, this happened, this happened, and yeah, I don't want to spoil it for anybody who's very kindly watching my review. You know, there's action all the way through. Um, at one point, at the start of the film, I thought, you know, we were an hour into the film, however, it was only half an hour, and that was amazing. They packed so much into half an hour. Uh, I could carry on watching that story for so long. But I do think that the first Avengers was better. The second one is cool, don't get me wrong, I'd watch it again. But the first one's better for me, I think. Uh, the characters as well, they all seem to lend and build off each other. Uh, they're so well connected. Hawkeye as well, he has a, a bit more of a lead almost, as it were. He's not like a bit part sort of uh, player. Yeah, he's more centred in this role, which is cool. Uh, there's a bit of a love relationship between um, Black Widow and uh, the Hulk which I find a bit in odd. It's interesting and odd at the same time because he's big and green, she's you know, a ninja assassin sort of person, so that'd be interesting to see what they do in uh, future films. We've got RDJ and uh, Captain America, they're butting heads slightly. They, they both want to be the leader, which is good because it leads up to Civil War. You know, that's really cool. You can't recommend it enough. 
Um, it was good to see Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch in the film. Uh, not seen them before, don't know much about them apart from being twins and that they've been kind of genetically uh, modified um, from when they were 10 years old from being orphans. But yeah, Ultron's a cool bad guy. Uh, apparently Hank Pym, I think his name is, um, the creator of Ant-Man, also created Ultron. But in the Avengers 2 Age of Ultron, uh, it's RDJ who is the man who created Ultron. Uh, we also get to see the Vision, which is pretty cool. He's pretty badass. He's, he's quite red and he's got a green spangly outfit with a yellow cape. Uh, he's also got an infinity gem on his forehead. Hope that's not a spoiler, but you know it's kind of obvious that the Vision was going to be in it. Falcon as well, he pops in. If you're a fan of Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, The Incredible Hulk, um, Scarlett Hansen, there's Black Widow, uh, Hawkeye, Falcon, Nick Fury. Pretty much anything that Marvel have done before, and if you're a fan, then you'd love it. Um, I really can't recommend it enough. Great film. Also, we the devoted links down below. As per usual, go check them out. Use Toby WTD gets you 20% off any we the devoted items you decide to buy. But I hope I haven't spoiled it too much for you guys. But it's so cool. It's a great film. Uh, Avengers One, I think, was slightly better. Um, Avengers Two: Age of Ultron was just missing that little thing, that little cherry on top. Uh, but it's still really cool uh, film to watch. So yeah, go check it out guys. Thanks for watching my review.